Okay, can we have a real conversation about how it's competitive in this world, how people don't really value the knowledge that others have, but they choose cheap and convenient. Can we talk about that? Can we also talk about the fact that even though you have value, you have to put yourself out there and to put yourself out there, you have to basically be in the right place at the right time, unless you have some really good marketing skills, right? That's another situation. Can we also talk about the fact that people just don't want to pay for what they need because they're cheap or because they don't see the face value of it? saying that I am not targeting anyone. This is not supposed to be triggering, but if it is, I do apologize. This is probably going to be very controversial, and this is probably going to be even um, labeled as um, something that shouldn't be spoken about, but comment below. Let me know exactly how you feel. This is a competitive world. We live in a place where everyone is about self, and I don't live that way. I really just don't live that way. I share the things that I can because I want to give and I want to support, but it's hard to do so when people feel as if your um, the value of paying for something isn't worth $75 or it's not worth $2,500 or whatever it is that I'm price pointing. But a lot of times people forget that you don't want to do the work. We're providing the service and we're also giving you based on our data, based on our time, based on the, the amount of quality that we're giving to you, we're able to give this to you at that value. And I get it, we, we have different types of environments, right? We have Fiverr, which is people who may or may not know what they're doing, they're charging them their, their low rates and then they're probably gonna get, you know, the actual um, people who just wanna pay the low cost, right? Then you have people who go to Indeed or LinkedIn where they're looking for a salary-based person or a person who they may feel more confident in long-term, like an independent contractor, right? What do I classify myself as? An independent contractor, but I'm also a business owner who knows the workload is not easy. And if it were, you'd be doing it yourself. Because you don't have the time, you outsource. And because you outsource, I wanna create the experience and give you the value that you deserve by sending you gifts, by making sure that you understand the process, by making sure I'm collaboratively working with you, not giving you something for you not to understand it and for you not to feel as if you're being heard, understood, and that your workload is gonna be done correctly. I say all of that to say, it's too competitive out here. There's a saying that says everyone can eat or should eat. My daughter's like walking around. Um, everyone has room at the table, but I feel like there's crumbs that fall off and then people are just like, please give me the crumbs. And I'm like, no, I deserve to be a part of the table. I deserve to be a part of the table because one, I have a lot of experience in doing what I'm doing. I know how to strategize. I know how to streamline. I know how to automate. I know how to support. And it's not necessarily about the money, but it's also the fact that I need to be valued. When you, as a business coach, you choose to make your price point 900, no, let's say $900, right? Or let, I've seen people go as far as $2,500, no, $25,000 for one hour. And that has been paid for by individuals. Why is it that when you are charging a rate of Currently, our rate is $75 an hour for admin services. Why is it that you question that? Because you've never seen my work before. But you can pay $40,000 for someone who has been seen on TV or why is their credibility so well known or well, well, well established? Because I have a website, my website may look very nice, check it out by the way, um, that you may feel like it's, it's not worthy of your 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 time and your business i get a lot of people come to my website and they browse they see the things because my prices are on my website i don't waste time 
Maybe you don't understand the services that I offer and I can clarify that, right? I offer services such as admin support. So that's website design as well as um, data entry research, all the things that your business needs. I'm an executive assistant who has a team to be able to like literally create the efficiency and, pro and productivity that you need in your business. I provide that to you. I also have to pay them so that they can provide that service um, in a sense where you don't feel as if she just hit her head. Okay, mama. That they don't feel, um, you know, that basically that you're getting, oh, I lost my train of thought because my daughter, sorry. But my point is that it's so competitive. It's so competitive. And not only is it competitive, it's like you're screaming at the top of your lungs to be able to be seen and you're not seen because everyone wants to be in this world of virtual assisting. Everyone wants to take the role of, oh, I can do social media management. I can do this, I can do that. And I'm sure that they can, but they may just be figuring it out. I have 10 years worth of experience. And even though I'm just starting to put my face out there more and I'm just starting to brand myself more, it's so hard because I have to also keep reminding myself that it's not that I'm not worthy. It's just that I'm not being seen as yet. And, and, and that's okay because I wanna be seen by the right people. I wanna be spoken about by the right people. And I want to have the great things said about me, not things like, oh my gosh, she did this work and I wasn't pleased. That's not the type of experience I wanna give you. There are a lot of ways that I wanna serve you. But number one, I don't want to feel as if I have to push you to basically have a conversation to me with me. What is my point? Where am I going? Yes, I posted or will be posting a video um, talking about me being let go of my corporate job. Not because I was not um, you know, equipped for the position, they just had economical reasonings and because the the economy is really, really just going crazy right now, they're making decisions that fit them. I now have been forced to be a entrepreneur to feed my one-year-old child, my husband who works 12 hour shifts a day, um, every day, and literally is tired every day he comes home. And then for us to kind of make just ends meet, and no, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm I'm crying out for help, and nor am I saying that I, I wanna be seen by everyone. I want to work with people who value the excellence that I'm providing. That means first having a conversation with me. The one thing that I always say is the knowledge is free. I'm absolutely open to having a conversation. Book me for a call and then we can talk about if we vibe, if we connect, if we fit each other's businesses. But I understand that that's not always the case. And I hope that this gave you some value into, in, inside of who I am. And I'll have more conversations like this to kind of open your eyes to show you that it's too competitive. Can we just work together and not work against each other?